Hey guys, this is Joseph from Play Tennis. Today I'm going to be talking about the buggy whip forehand. This is a type of shot in tennis that we can incorporate into our game in order to give us a competitive edge. In this video, we're going to be covering the advantages of using the buggy whip forehand as well as how to execute it more effectively. Firstly, what grip should we use to execute the buggy whip forehand? I'd recommend semi-western. This is where your index knuckle is going to be on the fourth bevel of the grip. If you want more in-depth information on grips and how to hold the racket, check out our grips video on Play Tennis YouTube. I'd recommend using a semi-western grip over an eastern or full western grip due to its versatility. With a semi-western grip, you're going to be able to deal with low balls as well as generate a good amount of topspin, which is essential for executing a good buggy whip forehand. While with a full eastern grip, it's going to be tougher and require a significant amount of forearm strength to get a good amount of topspin. While we go full western with that frying pan grip, where the index knuckle is all the way on the fifth bevel, it's going to be tougher to deal with the low balls. Key point number two is the swing. Okay, and when I say swing, I'm talking about the swing path that we want to adopt when executing the buggy whip forehand. It's going to be a more vertical swing path in comparison to our standard forehand drive, meaning we're going to be doing more of a low to high motion, which leads the racket to go over our head and sometimes even around our body back to the neutral position. In order to execute the buggy whip shot more effectively, we're going to want to ensure that we're hitting the ball as it drops. Think about it. If we're going to be swinging more vertically and the ball is rising at the same time, it's going to be much tougher to time. However, if we try and execute the buggy whip as the ball is dropping and gravity is taking it down, we can catch it on the way up. Okay, so that's the main reason that we want to take it as it's dropping because it's going to allow us to have a bigger contact window and we're going to be able to execute the shot more efficiently. So swing path, more vertical and try and take the ball as it's dropping. Key point number three is when should we use the buggy whip forehand? One scenario that it might be helpful in is when we're off balance. So you might see this a lot on the ATP tour and the WTA tour. When the professional players are falling off balance in an intense rally, they might incorporate that buggy whipped styled forehand. Okay? This is because when the body is leaning back, it's going to be more natural to adopt a vertical swing path. And the main, main goal in this situation would be just to get the ball back into play with a decent amount of power and spin so they can stay in the rally and get back their balance for the next shot. The next scenario that the buggy whip forehand would be useful in is dealing with low balls. So when the ball has dropped down to let's say your knee level, the buggy whip forehand due to its versatility is going to allow you to lift the ball back up over the net yet impart top spin on it so it can dip onto the opponent's side. And the final scenario where a buggy whip forehand would be useful is dealing with shots on the run. So let's say your opponent hits a tricky shot, you're running for it, and they drag you out wide. So you're in a compromised position. If you execute the buggy whip forehand effectively, you're going to be able to either hit a running winner or get back into the point. So we're going to quickly recap on when we should use the buggy whip forehand is either when we're off balance, dealing with low balls, or we're on the run. To wrap up the video, I'm going to conclude with the key points. So firstly, let's ensure we're using a grip that allows us to impart spin on the ball. I recommend semi-western and that we're adopting that vertical motion, almost like we're cracking a whip. And on top of that, using it in the right scenarios. Now, when we learn this shot, we don't have to then go and use it all the time on every forehand that we get. It's important that we focus on using it at the right time in order to increase our chances of winning the point. That's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope you found the tips useful. Buggy whip on. Stay safe.